understand why you can't do these personal conversations on your own time. Okay, I, I'm done. So you need some help over here? I'm not talking to you. You need to get a manager then. And this is all being filmed. Okay. I have got things to do and I need to get out of here. Listen, ma'am, I don't know what your what your problem is right now. I told you, I am a customer. You all were talking about weekend plans. That's not what you do on I the clock. I, I don't. You know what? I'm not. I'm done. It was on I'm, film. I'm, I'm then done. get a manager. I'm, 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 I'm Why don't you all just text customer each other? Service. Clearly, service. you all are friends. Why aren't you texting each other? Right that was a customer. No, you right were talking here. to her. It's on film. Ma'am, you gotta go. She was asking you what you're doing this weekend. And while I'm up here waiting. Where's you... security? You have to go. Yeah, go ahead. Get security. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done talking. Come on. I could care less. No, I'm done talking. Okay, first off, you don't even know proper grammar. The phrase is I couldn't care less. So, um, yeah, okay. Well, it's too bad I have to inform you about things like this. You, you need to get a manager. This is all on film. I'm not the one causing problems here. I want to speak to the head of the American Medical Association. This has got to be a diagnosable illness at this point. You know it, and I know it. And it's been around too long, too long, not for it to be in the book. It's an epidemic, okay? With many offshoots, many offshoots, this tyrannicity. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this, program called Indisputable. We just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. I want you to note something before we dissect this foolishness. Everyone else in the store was going about their business. I saw the one man in the blue jacket who had that envelope. You know, when you send something overnight and then you peel off the strip that reveals the adhesive and he was just continuing. I saw people even further back behind him going about their business, filling out things, gathering materials. That'd be hilarious. You see, man in blue jacket. I note these things because this um, affliction, it's everywhere. And we're all so used to it that we don't even bat an eye. We just continue. In this case, Karen, and they always have the same line, get me the manager. It's all over TikTok. The kids even, they're, they're laughing at these Karens. My daughter shows me, look, mommy, they always want the manager. And then correcting the grammar, that's another one of their abusive tools, okay? You're being a Karen, you're demanding actually. He said, you're having personal conversations about your weekend plans and I'm right here. I wouldn't see you either. It's to the point where I feel like you can sniff them out before they even open their mouths. You can sniff them out. You know how they train these dogs to sniff and help and they're service animals. And they sometimes help people who are in need of things getting around town. We could probably train them to sniff out people who have this affliction, some kind of adrenaline running through their bodies. The dogs can pick up scents. You can laugh at me if you want to, but I'm telling you, it can be done. I once saw a story where a cat lived in a nursing home. And the cat would go into the room of the person who was going to transition next. The cat knew weeks in advance, would start spending time with that person. Six cents, if you will. And sure, maybe I've gone down a rabbit hole. I think the restraint here by the man behind the counter who just said, I'm done. And then said I could care less and then she had to you know correct the grammar she should correct some other things first she should definitely correct some other things first i bet the manager never did come out i guarantee you the manager never did come out it's sick what the clerk said was i was engaging with a customer you know you frequent a place if they're friendly okay I'll be honest with you, not I'm I'm from Philly. Okay. I'm from the Philly area. 
And you're not going to necessarily get somebody who's going to ask you your weekend plans. Okay. They might after, you know, Monday morning after the Eagles, they might say, you see the Eagles. Okay. And if they did team disappointed, it's going to be worse than that. But not everybody's this friendly and decent. You can't wait your turn, Karen. You're nasty. Diagnosable illness. And I want to talk to the head of the American Medical Association. It's got to be now. It's got to be in the books. And she'll be talking about this at conferences. 